This is awesome. And we're heading back now. No reeling. I'm super excited about this, guys. Hey guys, welcome back to the farm. It's John. Um, over the years, we've been trying new and different things to make taking care of our animals easier. Um, we've had the pig loose, we've had the automatic feeders, we've done the barns to rotate our pigs around. Today, we've got a new product that I think is gonna make our life a bunch easier. Let's check it out. Yeah, so we've got hoses stretched all over our farm. They all pile up, they kind of get in the way. I've got the reels, but those can get heavy reeling up. Um, I saw this company, I reached out to them and they sent me a retractable hose reel. It's a half inch with 130 feet of water hose on it. Um, giraffe tools and we'll put their um, website right here if you want to check them out they do a lot of gardening things so this will be perfect for your garden we're gonna obviously be using it to water animals and things like that so let's get this out of the box and check out what it is Okay guys, so here it is. Comes with a nozzle, bunch of different spray angles, shower, rinse, cone, soakers. Um, it is a 130 foot half inch retractable hose reel. So that is kind of cool by Draft Tools. Gives you an introduction how to mount it. Um, you can mount it to your house, you can mount it to a post. Um, it comes with the mounting hardware if you need all that but we are going to mount ours to our post out there by our farrowing barn we're going to use this to get water to all those pens especially when the mamas are in there getting ready to have babies i think this is going to be a huge help so let's get it out to the barn and uh check out how we get it mounted okay guys i've got my uh obviously our water right here i installed this post and uh, I put a flat spot on here because I want it to sit flat. The hose reel that holds it, it would be close, but on this rounded pole, it's got a little give. So I'm gonna install it on this flat piece of wood here. Super simple, you just install this mounting bracket and the whole hose reel slides on. We'll show you that here in just a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and get this screwed onto our post and then we'll mount our reel. Okay guys, the bracket is mounted. The last thing we gotta do is take the back of the reel and slide it in. And we are ready to go. Let's check this thing out a little better. All right guys, super easy installation. I do love how this thing swivels. Um, I almost messed up. I almost got this a little too far away from the spigot, but if I do come all the way over, I still have enough cord. And the reason we're gonna come all the way over is because we're gonna be watering animals on this side as well. And the coolest part, I can drag this all the way over here if I need, but this has an automatic retractor. So I just pull it out and there is no reeling. It just comes all the way back up. The only thing I'll probably switch is this actual reel which is nice if you're doing gardening and whatnot. It's got all your options to change your flow, but I'm normally filling up waters, so I want as much water as I can. I don't wanna fill up waters forever. So I'm gonna change out this handle. It is a very nice handle, has all those different options, but just for filling up waters and pools, I want as much water as I can get at the quickest amount of time. So the other nice thing, you can hear them peeping in here. Let's go in here if I want to. We open up these chicks. We just got some new chicks today from Valley Farms. We turn this light on. I can bring this hose all the way in here and fill up their waters. 
if I don't want to take their waters out. So another great benefit. If we ever have pig waters in here, which in the winter we may, depending on if there's piglets. Hey guys, you can see I'm dragging the hose all the way in. I am all the way down to the last pen. If I need to fill up, wash out, do anything in the barn, this is awesome. And we're heading back now, no reeling. I'm super excited about this, guys. So let's take off this nozzle. Let's put our nozzle on just so we can get as much water as possible. We'll fill up these little pigs' waters here and see how this works. All right, guys, we've got it switched up. We've got these little nozzles, got them off Amazon. We like to use them so we can leave our, let me turn this on, that always helps. We can leave our water on and cut it off at the hose. The only thing I'm not a huge fan of is that this is a half inch hose, so I'm not getting much pressure. We've got a one inch line running to our spigots so we could get good pressure. This is only a half inch hose, but it will get the job done for what we need. So we're gonna take it in here and fill up these pig waters. I love this feature. I don't have, I'm gonna get rid of all that hose laying everywhere. So pull this in here where we need it. 130 feet of hose. I had these filled up already. You can see they're already been swimming in these. But that is gonna be awesome be able to fill up their waters easy what do you guys think pigs don't care how they get the water as long as they get water so super nice we're gonna see if we can get it all the way over here to uh josie the one thing i've got it hanging down on the fence can easily just put it up we run it beside right here and pull it through let's keep it pulling and see if we can get all the way to her spot here she is good morning she's got a little bit of water from this morning but we are all the way here i don't have any kinks in my hose Watch out, your big head's in the way, honey. And we can get both of her waters filled up super easy. I can see some of her piglets have been playing in there as well. So, awesome. We can get to both sides of our barn. I'm going to turn this off. Give it a little pull. And it should start to retract. I don't like that I'm down on my fence there. Here we go. Perfect. Guys, I love it. I think it's gonna be awesome. Big thanks to Giraffe Tools. Check them out down in the comments below. Check out some of their different products. They do have smaller reels. This is the 130 foot reel. We can get water everywhere easily now. And I think it's gonna be a game changer. I do love that it swivels. We can go to either side of the barn, bring it around the barn. I may put hooks up on the barn where I can run that hose along there and keep it off the fences. Most of the time I just run it underneath the fence and drag it across the ground. So super awesome. Check them out guys. We'll have a link to our Amazon affiliate down in the bottom if it's something you want. I believe they do retail for $195. I think they're gonna hook us up with a $10 off coupon. Check down in the description there if that's something you're interested in for gardening. We've got our garden boxes up towards the front of the house there. I think it'd be sweet to have one on the pole. We're planning on putting up some more garden boxes and we can just drag that hose wherever we need it. it reels itself up when we're done, saves us a bunch of time. So check down in the description for all that information guys if you like it you want to check it out i think it's a good option so we're super happy to have it out here at the farming barn
All right, guys, since we are out here at the farm and barn and brooder area, I might as well share everything with you. We like to share, obviously, all the good things, and we're going to be real and share some of the bad things. You can see we've got some traps set out. We did have a rat get in here the other day. I've also put antifreeze down, and I know everyone's going to say, oh, you need to be careful. You need Nothing can get in here when I have the door shut, so we don't have to worry about Colby or any other animals getting in here. Um, except rats. So we've had some suggestions, talked about cementing the floor in and things like that. And uh, in the future, we may go that route, but I'm pretty sure I came out one morning and there was a rat in here in this cage and uh, it had killed five or six. And um, I'm pretty sure the way it got in, it crawled up the top and we did not have these two strands of chicken wire it's only two foot long chicken wire and we did not have it secured down the middle so it was able to get in but it could not get out so i was able to get rid of the rat we tied the two strands together and the part that really stunk is we just hatched out let me pull this up so you can see better we've been hatching out some midget white turkeys and uh, i had seven of them and this actually is a cornish cross here only three of them made it. I've got some more getting ready to hatch, but super bummed. Anytime you lose anything and you feel like it's kind of your fault, um, it's a bummer. So we've got three of those left. More are going to be hatching in a week or so. We're hoping to have some turkey for Thanksgiving. But we just got this batch from Valley Farms. I mentioned that earlier. All 30 of them are doing great and happy. We moved these older ones over here, so they got run of this whole brooder. And uh, they'll be going outside in a week or two. We've already taken the heat light off of them so they can start acclimating to some regular weather. It is definitely not cold in here, so you don't have to worry about them being too cold. But these guys are all happy and healthy. We feel as though we've resolved the problem where things cannot get into these brooders now. Like I said, in the future, we may work on cementing this floor um, we're just not 100% sure. Obviously, you want to keep your animals safe, and uh, we are going to do our best to do that. But also, since we're out here, let's get this door shut so nothing can get in here now. Might as well check out some piggies this video, right? These new ones from Josie are getting pretty big. Let's check out these hogs. Here's Isaiah's, one of Isaiah's favorite, Mandarin. This is from Sassy's Litter. And she is, uh, I don't know, a teddy bear. What do you think, Mandarin? There's not too many pigs that don't squeal when you pick them up, but uh, Mandarin is one of those. She'll probably prove me wrong, but pick her up. That was a good squeal. But she doesn't kick around. She's just relaxed. But super excited to have this herd here. This is Pumpkin. She's going to a new home today. Super long. This is one of Penny and Kevin's. And I can't remember everybody. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't remember who you are. So they're all doing great. Excited to have this new water to get their chores done faster. Let's check out these new babies. Newer babies. You guys are almost three weeks old now. They're a little skittish. How you doing? How you doing? Jokes, your head's in the way. You guys are getting a little better, aren't you? Well, we got those two gingers. This is the one, if you've seen our video a while back, um, I'll post that here if you haven't. This is the one that ventured all the way down to that barn and was over there for a day before I was able to bring her back. But you can see she's doing well. And she's a nice one, aren't you? You little adventurer. Then we've got these pretty gingers. And I know there's two more in here. There you are. So they're all doing well. Say good morning, Brooke. Good morning. They are all doing well. Mama's doing well. We should just call her Jowls. She's all Jowls. But that's Josephine. So anyway, guys, the whole point of the video, the giraffe retractable hose reel. Check them out if that's something you're interested in. No more winding up hoses, 
hoses in the way. This will probably be the last time you see this because we're going to get this wrapped up. But this is super awesome and we always are going to need it here at the barn. I guess you could always, if you wanted to move it around your farm, you could buy another bracket, mount it somewhere else and take pick up the whole reel and take it with you. So super cool. Check them out in the description. Draft tools. Thank you guys for sending that out for us. We appreciate it. It will get a lot of use here on the farm. And Brooklyn made it out just in time. So if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, check us out on Instagram and also Facebook. And don't forget to make the change. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next video.